Hey guys, Smooth Turtle 872 back here for another Minecraft video. Today I'm showing off my new crafter lock. This is the second recording because I had some signals slightly off. But let's get into the showcase. So if I put in six here, the, now the correct now this is a two-layer lock. This is infinitely tileable, but point stands, this is a two-layer lock. And um so the first thing, so the first signal strength is seven. So if I put in six, and then the second one is eight. So if I put six in and then eight in, you'll hear that. And if I put zero in, which will make it light, which will, when I succeed, this will light up. Now, I want to put seven in. Doesn't matter which buttons, but press 7 you can see how it's not doing anything else so if I do 8 again nothing else so if I do this it lights up and once all of that pulse accent runs out then we're done so let's get into how to make this this is not necessary Either I'm going to keep it at this anyway because it works. Okay, so first thing is the green line. This is where the actual input comes in. So what you want to do, what you're gonna, what you'll have if, again, this isn't a, now this isn't a tutorial. If you want a tutorial, I I think five likes, which is quite a lot for this channel. But if you can get five likes, I will make a detailed tutorial on this. But what? But this, but this, but that's besides the point. This is the input circuit, the green line. This, what you have is a crafter, which is your input crafter. Comparator and, a, and then subtract comparator for each um, time you want it. This for each layer. So this doesn't connect up to the um, completion circuit. worked out why this isn't working whatever it doesn't matter um so this here is the actual detection circuit so when you press the orange button which is your input signal so when you press the button that inputs your number and it will take if 15, I was originally using copper bulbs and stuff, so I, that's why there's a comparator here. This comparator is not necessary. In fact, I will take it out now. And you can even see that it works between the two because there's no other with redstone connections. But anyway. We send out a signal strength of 15, which gets taken down to a signal strength of 9. That, So, then... Here you have a crafter. Now, what you want to have is what whatever you want your signal to be, you want one less than that turned off, all right? So you want enabled slots one less than what you want the signal for that strength for that one to be. So here we have we want a signal strength of 7 to be required, so we want 7 to be imported here. So I want so I have to have six of the, these these turned off. And then down here, oh, this has to be the same as the signal strength you want. I'll get to that later. So after that's detected, if you have more than zero, a signal will be sent through here no matter what, because the orange button put also pushes down the piston. It's important. And um, if you have, if your signal strength matches, then. If your signal strength is more, or that if your signal strength is seven or more for this first one, after the pulse extender runs out, then there will still be a signal going through this, which will allow this to be locked, which is why we need a repeater here as well. Well, one of the two reasons. We need this repeater 
to boost the signal to, well, to 15 and also so that we can lock it so that the circuit remembers and that will keep this down until you put have a single strength of zero go through because then there will be nothing holding it back it will also go up and lock this overflow circuit same same over here so yeah that's pretty simple you just have two in there next what the next circuit is well the overflow circuit so yellow was memory this detects if it's too large so that's why we need your single strength in here because it comes out from here so it detects that redstone signal strength with this comparator and um if that if this redstone can light up it means that you have too much you've put in a combination a number too big so it cross it you it will cross here and it will deactivate this so if I, which will pull this block back here so if i so i'll show that in action eight will be simple so as you can see that pulls back that will do that so it will pull that back which will mean that that's going to want to retract which will allow this to cross so that's what you want that's what will happen but if i were to put seven in which is the correct signal in this case you see that this locks and this also locks so you can put larger numbers in So if I were to put 8 in, which is the correct signal for the next one, you'll see that that just stays down because that's how this thing works. Then you put in none, it will automatically power it over here. Yeah. So let's get into the final bit of the circuit tree is this giant purple line this is completion detection so what it is is you need an AND gate that will run for every single module you want so you want every mod although you could technically do it with just one it's safer to have at least two modules because if you if they're fast enough in fact, let me show you right here. If I just put in a signal strength of 1, see how that triggered? That. Well, this circuit, okay, I guess this circuit does have that as a flaw. But this will mean that they can't just put in only one signal and have time. Also, the larger the circuit, the easier it is for them. So I may consider adding a note block in or a no another lamp in somewhere to say it's good to put in another signal. But once you have both of these correct, so the, the overflows will be lit up which means that so this side will, of the overflow will be lit up which will mean that the number is la is not too large and this yellow line will light up the purple line here which will mean your number is not too small because it's still connecting it's still running which will go in here and it'll compare the two it'll see if the two are both correct then it'll take it down here to the last AND gate you don't actually need this this was when I originally had it so you had to push the button but it made the AND gate wrong so it automatically pushes the button for you now but anyway it will if this is correct right even if you put a signal strength of zero in it will stay correct until it'll stay correct for a little bit because of the time it takes 
So when you put the signal strength of zero in, it actually lights up this purple line here, which takes it all the way over to here. And if both of these torches turn off, this torch can turn on, which can turn off this torch, which can turn this torch on, which will which will trigger the copper bulbs or whatever circuit you want here. And it'll also trigger this, so yeah. So that is my um, circuit. I will put the world download in the description. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like and and subscribe. Turtle out.